before we get started with this video, this is a collab with Anna from There She Goes. And she's gonna be doing holiday fashion mistakes to avoid, so definitely check out her channel. She has amazing style and I really enjoy her videos. If you're into fashion videos, then you're definitely gonna love her channel. And she's just super sweet and deserves a lot more subscribers, so definitely check her out. And let's get started with my video. I took the inspiration for this clock from this Walking Dead clock I found on Etsy and I made it with Stranger Things characters. So I firstly cut out a circle out of cardboard and then I printed out this Stranger Things poster and glued that onto the cardboard circle. And you also want to poke a hole through the center of your clock. And then I cut out the silhouettes from the poster and glue them on some cardboard to make them more sturdy. After I cut them out, I glue them on the top and bottom of the clock. So on the top we have Mike 11, Lucas and Dustin on their bikes. And opposite from them in the upside down we have Will running away from the monster. But you can make this with whatever TV show and whatever characters you want. And lastly just add the clock hands and the clock mechanism and you have your own clock. candles I took some regular white candles as my I guess base and I just split them into small pieces I think I used four of these candles for one jar candle and then take a heat safe dish and put the candle pieces there then I heated some water in a pot and put the candles to melt in the hot water because if I just put the dish with the candles on a stove the wax would burn after it was all melted, you can add some essential oils and fragrances. For the first candle, I put sandalwood and eucalyptus oil so it smelled fresh and clean. And then prepare a jar with a candle wick and pour the wax in the jar. And for the other candle, I put vanilla extract and blueberry extract so it smelled sweet and like a pie. I printed out some labels so the first candle was called Sherlock's Study inspired by this candle I found on Etsy and the other one was Angel in a Trench Coat inspired by this candle and it smells like pie because Dean likes pies and cats. <laughs> this I took some plain pencils and then I printed out some quotes from various TV shows but make sure to print them mirrors so that when you transfer them on the pencil it will be flipped on the right side. Now to make the text stick I had to put a layer of clear nail polish on the pencil first. Make sure to put enough nail polish to cover the whole area where the text will be. After that's dry take the quote and press it onto the pencil with some rubbing alcohol so the ink transfers and make sure to really press it. And after that, just peel off the paper and you're done. You'll first need a pendant or a charm base and then I printed out some different designs. One of them is supposed to look like a book page but it says clone club in the center and that is from Orphan Black. And then I press the paper onto the charm so I can get guidelines where to cut the paper. 
and now you can glue the paper on the base but my charm had the edges lifted so I just pushed the paper under the edges and now you can see the other two designs that I made so one is don't make me hold Frank from how to get away with murder because Frank always holds things and the other one is crybaby which is album from Melly Martinez and we all know how much I love her. Then I took some resin and I suggested you follow the instructions that come with your resin package because they're different for every brand. I had to use one part of this first bottle and two parts of the second bottle and then I mixed it slowly to avoid air bubbles. You should mix for five minutes so both parts are well combined. And then I poured the resin onto the paper and it turned the paper a bit gray but I didn't mind that. But if you want the paper to stay white you should put another layer of paper under the design and then leave it to dry for 24 hours. Makeup brushes were inspired by this Harry Potter collection from Storybook Cosmetics, so you'll need makeup brushes first. I actually took out the handle and left only the brush part because I wanted the wand to be longer. And to do that, I took some pencils. And I first took off the eraser part from the pencil and then I hot glued the pencil to the brush. And then using the paper mache mix and paper towels, I covered the whole pencil in two layers of that. If you're not familiar with the paper mache mix, it's made out of flour and water. that's dry I started making different designs on each brush. For the first one I had to fill in the space between the brush and the pencil because the brush was bigger and wider. After that I just put a couple more layers of the paper towel on the bottom part of the handle to make it look like this brush from the Harry Potter collection. For the second brush I put small pieces of paper towel and concentrated it only on one section of the handle so it formed this design. For one of these brushes I glued on this crystal that I had and then using hot glue I made a dripping effect on the crystal. And then I added more paper towel to make the handle bigger. And for the last brush I made this spiral design by rotating the brush and holding the glue gun still. And when I got to the end of the brush, I made another spiral design, rotating the brush in the opposite way. And then just paint the brushes black and you're good to go. So start off by making the actual phone case from cornstarch and silicone and mix it really well. This phone case can be done with any character and silhouette you want, but I just had to pick Sherlock for this. And in my DIY phone case video you asked me does it matter what kind of silicone you use and you can use whatever silicone you have unless it's a acryl one. I don't know what that means but I tried using that and it just wouldn't stick so the Acryl silicone is not good. Okay, back to the video now. So now I took some black acrylic paint and painted the silicone mix black. And then I rolled it out. Now take your phone and cover it in silicone to make the phone case. The silicone takes up around 5 hours to dry. And once that's dry, roll out another silicone and coarse starch mix and I transferred the silhouette onto some paper and use that as a stencil to cut that out from silicone. Mm -hmm. 
and then I used even more silicone to glue the silhouette to the phone case. And lastly I filled in the gaps between the case and the silhouette and let it dry. Oh and one more thing, just cut out the camera part and you're done. to show you how to make the bookends. So you'll need two cardboard squares and four rectangles that are the same length as the square. Now I took one square and taped the rectangles on its sides and then taped the sides to each other. Now you have this box and to make it heavy enough to hold the books I added some rocks. Then I tape the second square to close the box. Now I cut out another piece of cardboard that I taped on the side of the box and that's the part that's going to hold the box. And then to make it more sturdy I covered the bookend in newspaper covered in paper mache mix. And I used a different kind of flower, not just the regular white flower, so it kind of looks like vomit. I mean it still works, but it just looks disgusting. <laughs> After it dried I painted the bookend white and then I made another one and they look like this. For the TARDIS I use a cardboard rectangle and another rectangle that has these little rectangle shaped cutouts and you're supposed to glue it to the first cardboard like this. And then I cut out these two shapes out of cardboard and glue them together. And then glue everything together, you should get something like this. After that paint it with blue acrylic paint. These first two, let's call them windows, should be white, so that's how I painted them. And I also drew six black rectangles inside with a toothpick. Then I printed out this police box part of the TARDIS and glued it on the top. And now that you have done all of this you need to make three more so you have four in total. Now I cut out these two parts, I call them ears on two of these TARDIS cardboards. So you have two with ears and two without them. And then glue the four sides together so it goes one side with the ears to one side without and so on. Lastly, I glued on the top and the bottom, and don't forget this little light part on the top too. Now the TARDIS is done. Next step is to cut the TARDIS in half, and I highly suggest you to measure it a couple of times and see what angle is the best to cut, because once you do it, there's no coming back. Now that you have two parts of the TARDIS, all that's left to do is glue both of the parts to the bookends you previously made. <laughs> 